This is a follow-up to our popular video entitled The Best Six and a Half Inch Speakers Under $99. This lineup includes speakers from Kicker Pioneer, Rockford, Fosgate, Focal, Memphis, JBL, and Blam. So stay with us. Hey guys, Josh here from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Now there are so many great six and a half speakers in this category for us and we had to leave a few out to keep this video from being too long. So these are the speakers we'll be taking a look at along with their retail price. Starting with the Pioneer TS-Z65F, retail $199. Focal's ICU-165, retail also $199. The Memphis MS-62, retail $189. Then the Rockford Fosgate T1650, retail $169. Then the JBL Club 625SQ, retail $159. The Blam 165EC, which retail for $149. And the lowest price of the bunch, which is the Kicker KSC650, retail $129. Okay, let's go over the specs, but before, let's review what some of these specs actually translates to when it comes to listening experience. Now, we did a video entitled, How to Pick Out Speakers. So if you haven't seen that, check that out for more details on this subject. Okay, so let's cover a few of these. Number one, materials. For tweeters, metal material is sharper and normally able to produce higher frequencies than tweeters made of textile like silk. But textile tweeters are smoother and not as harsh as metal. For woofers, you'll want something stiff and durable to get the most bass out of them. Number two, power handling. Now it's important to match your speaker with your amplifier. Too little will cause premature distortion and too much might damage the speaker. Well, actually, distortion below speakers, but that's another subject, so let's keep moving. Number three, frequency range. The lower, the better for bass response, and the higher, the better, but keep in mind, Human hearing goes up to only 20K, but when higher frequencies are played, it accentuates the harmonics around those high frequencies that are in the audible range. Okay, and number four, sensitivity. The higher the sensitivity, the more efficient the speakers. So speakers will play louder with less power, but if you properly match your speakers with your amp, it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, now let's take a look at these speakers. Pioneer's TS-Z65F. These are two-way speakers. They have a fiber cone and butyl rubber surround. These have a one and an eighth aluminum tweeter and they handle 110 watts RMS, 330 watts peak power. Now these speakers have the highest power rating of the bunch. Frequency range is 32 up to 96,000 Hertz. Wow, that is like super high and it's definitely the highest of the bunch that we're taking a look at. These speakers also have the lowest frequency response as well at 32. Sensitivity, 85 dB at one watt, one meter. Again, retail price, $199. Okay, next, Focal's ICU 165. These are two-way speakers. These have a polyglass woofer and butyl rubber surround. The tweeter is aluminum slash magnesium and is inverted with acoustic horn design. Selectable tweeter level at zero or plus three dB. These speakers are four ohm. They handle up to 70 watts RMS and 140 peak. Frequency response is 60 hertz up to 21,000 hertz. Sensitivity is 93 dB, and these are tied with the BLAM for the highest sensitivity rating at one watt, one meter. Also, retail $199. Okay, next, the Memphis MS62, also a two-way speaker, but this is what they call a convertible. So you can either use it as a coaxial or break them apart and make a component. Carbon fiber woofer and rubber surround. The tweeter is aluminum, and these do have an external crossover. These handle up to 65 watts RMS, 130 watts peak, and the frequency range is 44 hertz up to 20K. Sensitivity is 89 dB, $189. Okay, the Rockford T1650, retail 169. Injected molded carbon fiber polypropylene woofer, rubber surround, a one inch aluminum dome tweeter, RMS rating 75 watts, 150 watts peak power. Frequency response, 44 up to 22,000 hertz. Sensitivity is 88 dB at one watt, one meter. Next, the JBL Club 625SQ, retail $159. Okay, these speakers are shallow mount with a carbon fiber cone. Also rubber surround and an edge-driven silk dome tweeter. 
that has adjustable attenuation at zero and plus three dB. Handles 75 watts RMS, 225 watts peak. The frequency response is 48 Hertz up to 21,000 Hertz. Sensitivity is 93 dB. And these speakers are three ohm speakers. Everything else mentioned thus far are four ohm. Next, the Blind 165 EC, retail price $149. These have a treated pulp cone and a rubber surround. Three quarter inch soft dome tweeter with a neodymium motor. RMS rating is 60 watts, 120 peak. Frequency response is 65 hertz up to 25,000 hertz. Sensitivity is 93.5 dB and these are two ohm speakers. And finally, the Kicker KSC650. Polypropylene woofer with a rubber surround, three quarter inch silk dome tweeter. These sound about 200 watts RMS and 200 watts peak. And the frequency range is 43 hertz up to 21,000 hertz. Sensitivity is 90 dB and these speakers are 4 ohm. Okay, so let's hit the demo room. We'll be using the JVC KW-V750BT and we'll set the EQ to flat. We won't be using any crossovers on either the head unit or the amplifier and the app we'll be using is the Helix M4 which is 100 watts RMS in either 2 or 4 ohms. Also we won't be comparing them off the power of the radio like we did in the last video because it's highly recommended that you run an amplifier with all of these speakers. We're going to be placing the mic right in front of the speakers and we suggest using a good set of over the ear headphones so that you're able to distinguish the difference between these speakers. We'll leave timestamps in the description for each speaker with each each of the three songs we'll be using. So you can jump around and A, B them against each other. Okay, let's get started.
it's hard to say which of these speakers are the best because people's preferences vary so much. But we hope this video helps you make a decision as to which speakers sounds best for you and your vehicle. Now, these speakers can be purchased on our website. There are links below taking you directly to each product page. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time.